Well, parts of Kentucky not out of the woods just yet in terms of flooding threats there. With thunderstorm warnings sticking around until at least Thursday, you can see President Biden and the First Lady there visiting the flood-stricken state today, where at least 37 people have died since last month's deluge. The president pledging more federal assistance to help with cleanup. But in a region also hit by a devastating tornado, that was just eight months ago. Some people are having to make some very difficult choices. And News Nation's Evan Lambert is live for us. So, Evan, the focus obviously right now on Kentucky, but many people finding the Appalachian region as a whole, it's really a challenging place to live right now. Nicole, yeah, this has been borne out by the population numbers over the last decade or so. We are talking historic floods, the opioid epidemic, and the fallout from the decline of the coal industry. We never give up. We never stop. We never bow. We never bend. We just go forward. As President Biden visits parts of eastern Kentucky devastated by deadly flooding, a whole host of other problems are piling up for Appalachia. It's the mainly rural region encompassing portions of 13 states with 26 million residents. From 2010 to 2019, most of the region lost residents, with the portions of Appalachia and Virginia, West Virginia and New York surpassing 3% declines in population. The national average was 6% growth. The population trends following the sharp decline of the coal industry, with coal jobs cut more than half from 2010 to 2020, from just over 56,000 jobs to 24,000 remaining. I have to think that the people of this region are very used to hard times. And the opioid crisis is also taking a toll on Appalachia, where overdose deaths are 43% higher than the rest of the nation. So what will happen to this region and its residents in the future? We asked Eastern Kentucky State University professor James Maples. When I saw these floods starting to happen, I was just like, man, it's just another, you know, big drop in a bucket. Um, and it just gives people all the more reason to maybe choose to move out of the area. But I still think there's going to be people stay behind, rebuild. Uh, and, um, you know, Eastern Kentucky, especially, we're not going anywhere. And President Biden linking this flood today to climate change. The EPA saying that these events are likely made more worse and more frequent by human action. Nicole. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.